Hi my dear students, welcome back to the class. So far we were discussing about trigonometric functions, isn't it? We discussed about various trigonometric functions, we derived various kinds of trigonometric functions, we defined domain and range of trigonometric functions and we also defined about various quadrants and signs of various trigonometric functions in the respective quadrants. Also in the last class we derived a lot of identities. I mean a lot of identities which, with, uh, which deals with trigonometric functions, the sum of angles and and the trigonometric function difference of angles in a trigonometric function etc and we derived a certain relationship between two uh, two or three trigonometric functions in the last class today we are going to solve solve the examples in your ncrt textbook from example number 10 so without any further intro we shall directly move on to the example session so coming on to example number 10 the question is prove that 3 sin pi by x sig pi by 3 minus 4 sin 5 pi by 6 cot pi by 4 is equal to 1. So it is very simple. We have to consider the left hand side at the first. So LHS. So we are going to find each and every term in the LHS. First of all we have sin pi by 6 in the LHS. We know that the value of sin pi by 6 is nothing but what? 1 by 2. Isn't it? Now next we have sig pi by 3. Now we know cos pi by 3 is again equal to 1 by 2 therefore the reciprocal sec pi by 3 will be 2 next we have sin 5 pi by 6 isn't it see sin 5 pi by 6 can be split as sin pi minus pi by 6 isn't it see you can see when we cross multiply it will become 6 pi minus uh, pi whole divided by 6 which is 5 pi by 6 let it be there and we know that it is of the form sin x minus y sin x cos y plus sorry minus cos x sin y when we apply those things we get it is equal to sin pi by 6 itself now you can see this using the quadrant trick so sin pi minus 6 which is pi is here so sin pi minus 6 will be in the second quadrant we know that sin is positive in the second quadrant and since the difference is taken from an integral multiple of pi sin pi minus pi by 6 will be in the second quadrant and it will be equal to sin pi by 6 you can do this in the either way either apply the formula for sin x minus y or just through the quadrant trick so it will become sin pi by 6 and as you know sin pi by 6 is nothing but 1 by 2 so we we have another uh, expression in the left hand side which is cot pi by 4 cot pi by 4 it is equal to we know that sin pi tan pi by 4 equal to 1 since sin pi by 4 equal to 1 by root 2 and cos pi by 4 is equal to 1 by root 2 the ratio of two identical terms results in 1 so we have all the terms in the left hand side we shall just substitute all those terms 3 into sin pi by 6 is equal to what 1 by 2 minus sorry into sig pi by 3 is equal to 2 minus 4 into sin 5 pi by 6 is equal to 1 by 2 into cot pi by 4 is equal to what 1 it is equal to 2 and 2 divides and it will become 3 minus 4 and 2 divides to get 2 so 3 minus 2 into 1 is equal to 1 so the left hand side is equal to 1 which is the right hand side so we have LHS is equal to RHS hence the result is proved example number 11 is the question is find the value of sine 15 degree it is very simple if we split 15 degree is equal to sine 45 minus 30 degree isn't it both are same 45 minus 30 will result in 15 so these two are same so it is of the form sine x minus y isn't it we know the formula for sine x minus y as sine x cos y minus cos x sin y isn't it so we shall just substitute those things here it will become sin 45 into 45 degree into cos 30 degree minus cos 45 degree into sin 30 degree isn't it so now sin 45 degree is nothing but 1 pi root 2 into cos 30 degree is equal to cos 30 degree is equal to root 3 by 2 minus cos 45 degree is again 1 by root 2 and sin 30 degree is equal to 1 by 2 so it will become root 3 minus 1 whole divided by 2 root 2 so the value of sin 50 degree is 15 degree is nothing but root 3 minus 1 divided by 2 root 2 now we shall solve the example number 12 the question is 
find the value of tan 13 pi by 12 okay as we can see that tan 13 pi by 12 can be splitted as the angle can be splitted as tan pi plus pi by 12 isn't it so whenever we cross multiply it will result in the same angle but we can see that it is of the form tan x plus y so either you can use the formula for tan x plus y or you can use the quadrant trick since pi plus pi by 12 this is pi so pi plus pi by 12 lies here and in the sec third quadrant tan is positive the result will be positive and since the sum is taken with an integral multiple of pi the result will be tan pi by 12 isn't it and the tan pi by 12 this angle can be again splitted as tan pi by 3 minus pi by 4 isn't it so that it will become 4 pi minus 3 pi divided by 12 so it is the tan value again we can apply the formula for tan x minus y isn't it it is equal to tan x minus tan y divided by 1 plus tan x tan y isn't it again it will be equal to tan pi by 3 is equal to nothing but root 3 minus 1 tan pi by 4 equal to 1 divided by 1 plus again tan pi by 3 is equal to root 3 into 1 so it will be equal to root 3 minus 1 divided by root 3 plus 1 so this will be the value of tan 13 pi by 12 again you can multiply with root 3 plus 1 on the denominator and numerator so that it become rationalized so if we if you stop even if you stop by this step the answer will be right now we shall do example number 13 of your textbook the question is that prove that sin x plus y divided by sin x minus y is equal to tan x plus tan y divided by tan x minus tan y it is very simple we know that let us consider the lhs we know that sin x plus y divided by sin x minus y is equal to let us substitute the formula for sin x plus y and sin x minus y in respectively in numerator and denominator so it will become sin x cos y plus cos x sin y whole divided by sin x cos y minus cos x sin y now we shall divide the numerator and denominator by cos x into cos y so it will become since cos y cancels here sin x by cos x remains and it is equal to tan x plus now cos x and sin y is here and we are dividing it with cos x and cos y cos x cancels sin y by cos y is nothing but tan y whole divided by again cos y is here and it will cancel with this cos y and again sin x by cos x will be there that will be tan x minus again cos x and sin y is here here we are can cancelling cos x together and it will result in sin y by cos y it is equal to tan y which is the required rhs so lhs is equal to rhs in this case hence the result is proved now we shall do example number 14 the question is that show that tan 3x into tan 2x into tan x is equal to the right hand side we shall begin with tan 3x so we are going to split the angle into two parts it is equal to tan 3x it can be splitted as tan 2x plus x isn't it it is of the form tan x plus y so we can apply the formula directly it is equal to tan 2x plus tan x whole divided by 1 minus tan 2x into tan x which what is the left hand side it is equal to tan 3x now we shall cross multiply this so it will become tan 3x into 1 minus tan 2x into tan x it is equal to tan 2x plus tan x what we have done is just cross multiplied this to left hand side and now we shall open this bracket it will become tan 3x minus tan 3x into tan 2x into tan x is equal to tan 2x plus tan x isn't it now look at the question what we have to show is the right hand side is this so we have a tan 3x here tan 2x here and tan x here so we shall transform all these quantities to the left hand side and the, all the remaining quantities to the right hand side so it will become tan 3x minus tan 2x minus tan x 
equal to now i am going to transform the entire quantity to the right hand side so it will become tan 3x into tan 2x into tan x see that was our left hand side so the left hand side and right hand side are equal so the result is proved now we shall do the 15 the question the question is of the form cos pi by 4 plus x plus cos pi by 4 minus x is equal to root 2x that's what we are asked suppose that let me name this angle as x and this angle as y then it is of the form cos x plus cos y isn't it we know the formula for it as 2 cos x plus y by 2 into cos x minus y by 2 isn't it let us substitute the angles there so it will become 2 cos x is pi by 4 plus x plus pi by 4 minus x whole divided by 2 into cos x minus y it is equal to cos pi by 4 plus x minus pi by 4 minus x isn't it whole divided by by 2 so it is the uh, it is directly applied this formula into these angles x is equal to pi by 4 plus x and y is equal to pi by 4 minus x isn't it so let us simplify this it is equal to 2 cos here you can see that x cancels and what remains is 2 pi by 4 divided by 2 isn't it into cos here as you can see that pi by 4 cancels and what remains is 2x by 2 isn't it okay now it is equal to 2 cos as you can see that 2 and 2 cancels and what remains is pi by 4 into cos x isn't it now pi cos pi by 4 is nothing but what 1 by root 2 so 2 by root 2 into cos x now you can cancel root 2 from numerator and denominator it will become root 2 cos x so the left hand side will come equal to the right hand side hence the result is proved now we shall do the example number 16 on your textbook the question is that prove that cos 7x plus cos 5x divided by sin 7x minus sin 5x is equal to cortex it is of the form easily you can observe that it is of the form the numerator is of the form cos x plus cos y and the denominator is of the form sin x minus sin y isn't it we know that we know the formula for cos x plus cos y as 2 cos x plus y by 2 into cos x minus y by 2 isn't it and do you know the formula for sin x minus sin y as sin x minus sin y as 2 sin x plus uh, sorry 2 cos x plus y by 2 into sin x minus y by 2 we have learned these two formulas in the previous lesson isn't it now we shall apply the same to this left hand side considering 7x as this first one first variable and 5x as the second variable so that will numerator will become 2 cos 7x plus 5x divided by 2 into sorry into again we have cos x minus y isn't it cos 7x minus 5x divided by 2 whole divided by again numerator denominator we have 2 cos 7x plus 5x by 2 because in the numerator also the variables are 7x and 5x respectively into again we have sin x minus y by 2 it is equal to sin 7x minus 5x divided by 2 you can see that we can cancel these two terms isn't it hence what remains is this and this again it is equal to tan 7x minus 5x divided by 2 isn't it it is equal to tan sorry cos by sine it is isn't it so it is equal to cot so it is equal to cot 7x minus 5x is equal to nothing but 2x by 2 so we can cancel 2 and hence it will become cot x that's what we have to prove so left hand side becomes equal to cortex that is one what we have to prove in example number 16 now we shall move on to example number 17 now we shall do the last example in this session the last example is example number 17 we have to prove that sin 5x minus 2 sin 3x plus sin x divided by cos 5x minus cos x is equal to tan x let us consider the left hand side lhs it is equal to sin 5x minus instead of 
uh, taking minus 2 sin 3x at the first, we, I am going to rearrange it or shuffle it a little bit. It is, I am going to take sin 3x to the second position. So, sin x, sorry, not 3x, sin x minus 2 sin 3x whole divided by cos 5x minus cos x is equal to tan x. Let it be there. Let, we are considering the left hand side at the first. Now, you can see that this can be associated in the form of sin x plus sin y, isn't it? And this can be associated in the form of cos x minus cos y, isn't it? We know the formula for sin x plus sin y are sin x plus sin y. Sin y is equal to 2 sin x plus y by 2 into cos x minus y by 2 and cos x minus cos y we know the formula for cos x minus cos y as minus 2 sin x plus y by 2 into sin x minus y by 2 isn't it so therefore we shall expand this sign using that formula it implies sin x plus sin y this is of the form sin x plus sin y so it will become 2 sin 5x plus x equal to 6x 6x by 2 is equal to 3x isn't it into cos x minus y cos 5x minus x 4x divided by 2 it is equal to cos 2x minus 2 sin 3x whole divided by this is of the form cos x minus cos y isn't it it is equal to minus 2 sin 5x plus x is equal to 6 6 by 2 is equal to 3x into again sin x minus y by 2 sin 5x minus x by 2 equal to sin 2x this will be the case now we can take sin 3x actually 2 sin 3x from common from the numerator it will become 2 sin 3x into cos 2x minus 1 whole divided by minus 2 sin uh, 3x into sin 2x again as you can imagine we are going to cancel or divide these two terms so the rest will be what cos 2x minus 1 divided by minus sin 2x now let me multiply let me multiply this minus with this bracket so that the numerator become 1 minus cos 2x divided by sin 2x okay now as you know that 1 minus sin cos 2x is equal to nothing but 2 sin square x isn't it since cos 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square x so 1 minus cos 2x is nothing but 2 sin square x and again sin 2x is equal to nothing but 2 sin x cos x and as you can see we are going to cancel this 2 and a sin x there and sin x by cos x is the remaining terms and it is nothing but tan x which is the left hand sorry right hand side so we proved left hand side is equal to right hand side hence the proof is complete hence that's the end of the example number 17 also so i hope you understood the process or the method by which we prove various statesmen and if you have any doubt regarding any of these problems or uh, these methods you can just contact me and make it very clear for you and in the next class we are going to solve the exercise questions and to solve that effectively please revise it very well and come back to the next class with a proper knowledge of how we can prove various kinds of identities using existing identities.